Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to resolve this particular build issue whenever you try to uh, check out code from Bitbucket inside the Jenkins job. So let's quickly take a look at this issue. So this is the build issue what I'm talking about, right? So if you see here, I'm using Bitbucket URL, which is HTTPS. I am trying to uh, check out the code from this repository, right? This is kind of a Java based code. So I'm trying to check out here using uh, Bitbucket username and then Bitbucket password. So if you see here, so this is no longer supported starting from March 1st, 2022. So if you look at this message, right? So beginning of March 1st, 2022, uh, Bitbucket have announced that they will no longer support Bitbucket password. So rather, what we should use is we should use app password. So app password is, you know, it is going to have a limited permissions, right? When you compare with the Bitbucket password, okay? So that is what we are going to use that in order to solve that particular build issue. Awesome. So let's get started. So this is my Jenkins. So if you see here, I have configured my job. So obviously this is failing because I'm actually using a Bitbucket password. So we are going to create app password and then we will fix this build issue. Awesome. So let's get started. So the way to uh, create app password is, and, and, the, and then of course you can also see here as well, right? Look at here. So they also say that app passwords are recommended for most use cases, and then it can be created in your personal settings. So let me quickly go to my Bitbucket. So this is my Bitbucket. So click on your uh, username and then go to personal settings and then click on app passwords. All you have to do is just create this app password, right? So click on it. So now it is asking you all these permissions, right? So let me first give you some name. So I'm going to say my token one, two, three. Uh, so if you see here, yes, you can give all this kind of permissions, right? But I just want to check out code from Jenkins and that's it. I don't want to do anything else, right? So then what you can do is you can go ahead and then select these two options under repositories. Right, because I just want to uh, check out code. If you want to perform any write operation, you can also select that. But but I think th this is good enough. Read and write, right, under repositories. And then go ahead and then create. So this has created the app password. So all you have to do is just copy this password and then go to, bit, uh, go to Jenkins and then click on add Jenkins. So we just have to recreate the credential with the app password, so I'm going to use my username, that's my username. And then instead of password, you're going to paste the app, the app password what you have created. Okay, and then here I'm going to say my password from Bitbucket. Click on add. And then we are going to select that from the dropdown. There you go, you see, so the moment you select the right credential error, everything is gone, right? And that's it. So click on apply, save, and then go ahead and then click on build now. So we should be able to see that Jenkins should be able to check out code from Bitbucket. There you go. You all see that here. So Jenkins was able to check out the code, build the code using Maven, and then finally we were able to deploy into a Tomcat, right? And then of course, if you like to check the output, you can go to Tomcat. There you go. So that's the output, right? So yeah, so that's it guys. You know, that's how you would resolve this particular bill issue whenever you try to check out code from Jenkins. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video guys.